Hey everybody, this time on the Double Time Soft YouTube channel, we're going to take a look at the GPS Logger app we put out for Android about a year ago, show you how it works, give a demonstration of it, and have you ever wondered, do aliens exist? Hey everybody, welcome to the Double Time Soft YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Mike. We're going to be looking today at the GPS Logger app developed by Double Time Soft. It's a very simple um, application that allows you to log your GPS data um, as you're uh, driving around or walking around. Um, and you can tell it has a very simple interface. Uh, the, the key thing here is that it will create a CSV file and that's a comma separated values file. It's a text file that you can use in applications like Microsoft Excel to view data. The reason it exports in this format as well as the Google KML format, the keyhole markup language, is it allows more control of the format, more data than KML will allow for, and KML has limitations where you can only have 500 points in a line, and this file allows you to do more than that. Also, there's a website that you can see here right on the app. It's uh, www.doubletimesoft.com forward slash GPS logger. And this is where you can go and actually view the CSV files. Now you can view the KML files that this, this logs um, you know, normally in any Google Map application. But to view the CSV files, go to this website here. Um, one other feature of this um, application is it has some settings that you can uh, control. Um, you can control what type of alerts you get. Uh, you can get a sound alert when you lose your um, GPS signal. You can get a vibration alert or a visual or a notification alert that will come up here at the top. Um, you can also set the time for uh, uh, how long the duration will be between, lose, between having a GPS signal and then losing it and you can do that here. It has to be at least one and it's in seconds as you can see here. The units. Um, one other um, option you have is the battery level. Uh, you can automatically stop logging when your battery reaches um, below this percentage. So if you set it to 50%, that means when your battery percentage drops below 50%, and if you were logging data, GPS data, then it will automatically shut off. Um, and that also is another key point about the CSV file is it also um, is logging your battery level each time um, a uh, GPS position is logged. So here's all your settings here that you can control. Um, there may be more added in the future. Uh, another uh, option you have is there's a help. Um, the help describes um, everything that I'm talking about right now and then in more detail it actually describes the um, format of the CSV file, what the units and what each column means. Um, so here's all that information here. You can always come here and refer to it. It also explains how to view the log files. Um, one other important uh, thing I want to mention about the uh, website that we have is that we do not store the CSV file on the server. It is not uploaded to the server at all, so we do not store your data it's just a way for you to view your data. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, first, let's go ahead and take a drive around town, and then I'll show you how the rest of this app works. Okay, so here we are in the vehicle, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use this app and drive around for a little bit and record data. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Um, if you notice, the start button turns immediately turns into the stop button. Uh, another thing to note is that when you back out of this application, um, you are still logging data. So even though you backed out of the application, you will still be logging data. Um, there's a service that's running in the background. Um, one other uh, note is that if GPS is not turned on, it will give you a little notification here saying that the GPS logger needs uh, a GPS provider enabled. If you tap on this notification, it'll bring you directly to the location services settings built into Android. So all we have to do now is turn on the GPS satellites checkbox and now it's saying logging GPS. So let's go ahead and drive around a little bit. 
and we'll come back and take a look at our data. Okay, so we're back from our drive and uh, we have some data recorded so we're going to go ahead and hit the send logs button. Um, this is all of the logs that have been recorded. They're named by uh, date and time so you don't have to worry about naming your logs. Um, so here if you see we have some checkboxes so let's scroll to the bottom and uh, I'm going to pick these four files and send them to myself. So uh, I have the option here I can either I can use any um, option that's available on the device for sending data and these are my two options. So I'm going to go ahead and use Gmail and send it to myself and then we'll take a look at it on the desktop and uh, see what the data looks like on the actual Double Time Soft GPS Logger website. We just came back from our drive around and we're on the DoubleTimeSoft.com GPS Logger website so we can view the CSV files. Uh, so here's the actual website. It starts you off um, centered on the United States. Uh, so what we can do is we can go ahead and load the CSV file that I already sent to myself from my mobile device. And now it's actually loading the CSV file. Um, you can see the uh, these are the speeds at each point where it sampled a GPS location. Uh, you can tell I just kind of drove around in a loop here so let's zoom in a little bit and see what kind of data we have. If you notice when it loaded the CSV file it uh, automatically created a bounding box around the data for you so you don't have to worry about where that data is. It can be anywhere in the world and it will zoom to that area for you based upon the extents of the data. So here you can tell I was driving down this road um, going uh, southbound will turn off the miles per hour indicators and you can see the red arrows indicating the direction of travel. These circles are the accuracy circles. They show you how accurate the location um, at that point was sampled based on the GPS data. We can turn those off as well. Those do speed up the rendering of the uh, data so if you have a lot of data you can turn that off and it will make it easier to draw. So I just made a loop going around here. Um, Let's go ahead and zoom in on a little bit more and maybe we can look at some of the speeds. So here you can tell I made a left turn onto this road. And let's turn on some speed data. Okay. So here I was doing 22 miles per hour, uh, slowly increased speed up to 60 miles per hour, 62 miles per hour. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll be surprised at how accurate some of this data is sometimes. Um, you can even tell which side of the road you're on, uh, you know, your turns, where you stopped, um, and other things like that. So uh, another thing you can take a look at is the statistics. Here's some brief statistics. There's a total of 361 points in this data set, and the average accuracy was 3.27 meters. Um, so that's it, and um, hope you enjoy the app. Uh, maybe you can find some some uh, something that you enjoy doing that uh, you can take a look at where you've been on on Google Maps. Again, there's the KML files. Um, please go ahead and take a look at the CSV file itself. It's a text file. You can open it up and look at it. Um, read the help on the app. It'll describe how that data is formatted. And another important thing that I just like to say again is the data that you upload that it's not uploaded to this to our server so and it says it here data is not uploaded to the server everything that's being done is local and it resides only on the client so if you have any concerns about privacy and, and um, things like that um, you don't have to worry about that uh, it does work under Firefox and Chrome uh, there's a, some little tweak you need to make to Chrome to make it work uh, and unfortunately I think Internet Explorer 9 it does not work but I think maybe 10 this does work. It requires a special um, support for this local client only processing of a file. Um, and once, if you have a lot of data loaded, you can actually load multiple uh, CSV files. You can press clear and then start over again. So, hope you enjoy it. Uh, please keep watching our channel and let us know uh, if we can make it better for you. You can find it on the Google Play Store. 
uh, there'll be a link below this video. It's, um, it's 99 cents. There, unfortunately, there's no iPhone version of this. And uh, definitely want to hear your feedback. Again, my name is Mike, and I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching the video.